we see a boy riding his bike through a forest. As he rides for a while, some invisible force seems to disconnect him from his bicycle. After that, we see a house at night. A lady sleeps in her bed. The rest of the house seems quiet and empty. And then a big shadow emerges in the living room. In the morning, the lady that was sleeping is now making breakfast. Her son then comes in to join her. They speak for a while and then she leaves. After that, a man wakes up on a couch. He is the boy's father. He then looks at his son's face, which has a mark on it, and asks his son if he's getting into fights. The son answers that the ones he fought started it. Sometime later, the lady, Jackie Harper, is in her car driving to work. She calls her husband, Greg, as he is getting ready for his job. After they speak for a short while, he hangs up on her. And then he throws his phone out of the window in anger. He looks out of the window to look at his broken phone and then also notices a cup standing on the roof. So he gets on the roof and takes the cup. A few cigarettes are what he sees there. This prompts him to state his son's name out loud. In the next scene, Jackie sits at her workplace and takes some pills. She is addressed as being a doctor and that her next patient is ready for her. Then we see Greg sitting at his workplace, a police station. A policewoman shows him a picture of a missing child. Greg looks at it and then the scene changes to a forest being occupied by several policemen. Greg is there among them and they located a bicycle there. Then Jackie comes back home. She hears a noise there and searches where it came from. Then she gets startled when a man appears there. He claims to be a window repairman. As he is exiting her house, she asks him who let him inside. And he answers that it was a kid, but he uses the word she. Jackie, however, only has a son. Afterward, Greg and his co-worker discover a pocket knife on the ground. Later on, Jackie and her son Connor sit at the table eating dinner. She asks him if he let the repairman inside today. And he responds by stating if that's with whom she had an affair. Then he asks how she could do such a thing to dad. He continues to show his anger by saying that she ruined the family and should pay for it. Then he leaves the table and the room. After that, Jackie is washing the dishes. As she does it, the TV turns on. She goes to turn it off, but it turns on again. This time she just lowers the sound and then instantly Greg surprises her with his arrival. She talks to him about the repairman being there and how she suspects that he stole their silverware. She adds how he said a strange thing about a girl opening the door for him. Greg becomes confused and asks who would take their bad silverware. After that, Greg walks upstairs and sees a picture missing from a frame. Then he stands in the restroom and takes some pills. When he does, he spots a hamster on the floor. He follows it as it moves along the house until he gets into a closet with it. And then the door closes on him and he gets stuck there. He believes it is his son who did that and states his name several times. But then Jackie opens the door to let him out. Greg asks for Connor, but she says that he's out. So Greg goes looking for him but then returns to Jackie without having found him. As they are both in that room alone, Jackie states her apology to him for the affair she committed. They talk about their situation for a while and then she leaves. Then at night, Jackie goes into Connor's room and sees that his computer game is on, but he is absent. She then looks under his bed and then he comes in and asks her what she's doing. When she asks him where he was, he answers that he was thirsty. Jackie then looks under the bed again and notices a strange item lying there. After that, we see Greg sleep alone in bed. As he sleeps, his blanket gets slowly removed from him. And in the morning when he wakes up, he notices a wet spot on the bed covers. The scene changes to him and his partner Spitsky sitting at the police station. The chief shows them more pictures of victims and they speak some more about the abductions that are taking place. Then Greg and Spitsky arrive at the residence of one of the victims. Spitsky starts speaking to a man he calls Tommy. He asks him if he remembers him from long ago. The man then turns around with a deformed face and starts making strange sounds. After that, Greg sits in his office and listens to an old tape recording of Spitsky talking with Tommy. They speak about the abductor and Tommy mentions a magic house to him. He calls it that because it will never be found. The next scene has a man coming to Jackie's house. It is Todd, the man she had an affair with. Once they are outside, he tells her that he loves her, but she says that she doesn't want to be with him. Afterward, a cup falls and shatters on his head. Jackie then takes him to the basement and tends to him there. While there, she gets a phone call and says that it's coming from his phone. When she answers it, she hears a record player start playing from above. She gets to it and turns it off. At that time, Connor comes in and Jackie asks him if he turned it on or if he was on the roof. He gives a negative to both questions. Then they sit in the car and Jackie is about to drive him to school. Before she leaves, however, a lady interrupts her and asks her if there is any word about her missing son. Jackie states that there is none, but she assures her that Greg will find him. As they drive off, Todd wanders around in the basement and then gets hit from behind. When Jackie returns to him, she finds him lying unconscious on the floor. Later, Greg comes home and Jackie explains to him the situation. She cries to him, stating how she believes that their son did it. Greg then tells her if anyone finds out about this, then he won't be able to protect Connor. So the scene changes to them both riding in the car at night. While they ride, they see many people walking with flashlights in a field. Then in the forest, Greg digs a hole. Once he's done digging, he places Todd in there. After that, we see Connor sitting behind his computer. He then comes to the washing machine and opens it. Inside he finds the silverware that his mother stated to have gone missing. Meanwhile, Greg buries Todd, and as he does, Jackie keeps apologizing to him. Connor then receives a message on his computer stating if he knows what's frogging. He searches for it on the internet and sees that it's people secretly invading other people's homes. 
After that, we see a person standing at his doorway, wearing the mask that his mother found under Connor's bed on a different day. The parents then return home. Shortly after, Jackie screams in the restroom and Greg comes to her. He sees his son tied up and lying in the bathtub. Then Greg notices that green pocket knife he saw at the crime scene being stuck to the soap. Afterward, Jackie drives Connor to the hospital and Greg stays home. He searches the house with his gun in his hands. As he searches, he hears music playing. He then goes to it and we see someone appear behind him. When Greg is about to turn it off, the person comes up to him and swings their weapon. The scene completely changes to two people sneaking into the closing garage of Greg and Jackie's house. One of them is filming the other as they do it. Once in there, they wander around and express their amusement with the house. Later, they find the guest room and the girl decides that they stay there. Then she starts recording herself there, stating that it will be a documentary on frogging. While she speaks, her partner Alec reveals himself. Then at nighttime, Alec smokes on the roof. The girl, Mindy, tells him he can't expose himself like that. Then they wander around the house while the family sleeps. Greg gets looked at with uncomfortable closeness as he sleeps on the couch. When daytime comes, we see the moment when Greg notices the missing picture from its frame. Mindy and Alec speak in the guest room in the form of whispering. As they speak, they hear a loud sound. Afterward, they see Greg come to the roof to collect the cup. Later, Mindy puts her backpack in the basement and Alec steals another picture from its frame. Then the window repairman arrives and Mindy opens the door for him. Alec opens the kitchen drawer and touches the silverware. After that, he goes to the restroom and takes one of Greg's pills and crushes it. He then puts the crushed contents into his water bottle. Sometime later, Mindy hears Jackie's surprise when she finds the repairman in her house. To that, she says they are not going downstairs anymore. Later, Mindy and Alec speak about the boy that got abducted. Then Alec gives her the water bottle with the crushed pill inside and she drinks it. We then see him watch her as she sleeps due to having drunk it. Later, Alec puts on the mask and watches Greg. He then takes the hamster out of its container and forces Greg to chase it into the closet. It is he who locked him in there. Then when he hears Jackie coming there, he hides under the bed and puts his mask on. And then he gets out at night while Connor sleeps. After that, Alec removes Greg's blanket as he sleeps. And that is followed by Alec emptying himself on the sleeping man. In the next scene, Mindy wakes up. She sees Alec sitting on the roof and tells him to return. They then start arguing about how Alec is supposed to stop messing with the people here. And he tells Mindy that he's not finished playing yet. He adds that if they don't make the Harpers question their sanity, then no one will. After that, he drops the cup he uses for smoking on Todd's head. When he comes back into the room, Mindy blows up on him and states that now they must leave this house. As she continues talking to him, Alec hears someone approaching and hides her and himself behind a door. Then Connor comes in. At that moment, Mindy says that they must leave now and find a way to distract the Harpers to make that possible. Alec then tells her that Todd dropped his phone. After that, Mindy walks along the house. Then Jackie comes out of the basement and Connor appears as well. Mindy makes herself hidden as that happens. When Jackie and her son leave the house, Mindy heads for the basement. She sees Todd there and then hides. While hiding, she witnesses Todd receiving his strike. And she sees Greg doing it. Greg then puts the weapon in his trunk and rides away with Spitsky. We then see Alec sitting on the bed and cutting holes in the faces of the family picture. And Mindy observes the argument that Greg and Jackie have over Todd. When she comes out and comes to Alec, she sees him tying Connor. She tells him that she will call the police for what he's doing. This causes him to grab her and accidentally knock her down into a wall. She loses consciousness because of this. Alec seems upset over this but still places Connor in the bathtub. Afterward, he takes Mindy into the trunk of another vehicle that the Harpers own. Alec tries to start the vehicle, but then Greg and Jackie arrive and the garage opens. Alec hides in the car. Then the parents find their son in the bathtub. After Jackie drives off with Connor, Greg sits in the other car and drives off with Mindy in it. As he drives, Mindy wakes up in the back. There she finds the jersey shirt of the kidnapped boy. And also she discovers a bag of many green pocket knives. Later, the car stops in the forest and Mindy gets out. She calls the police and tells them that she believes she is with the kidnapper. But then the bad reception ends her call. Unable to get back on the line, she then locates a trailer. First, she peeks inside, and then she enters it. As she slowly makes her way in, two trapped boys call out to her for help. They are held in small closets bound by zip ties. She tries to help them, but then Greg comes behind her and covers her head with plastic. After he has her in an unconscious state, he puts her back in the trunk. Then he finds a camera there and discovers that that is where the girl originated from in the first place. After all that, Greg returns home with Mindy. He carries her into the house and makes her wake up. While covering her mouth, he tells her to stand up. When she stands, he shoots her. Alec then walks the house, ready with an axe. He sees the lifeless Mindy lying on the floor. We see the scene where Greg approaches the record player again, and this time it continues when Alec brings the axe down on Greg. He misses him, but Greg's gun flies from his hands. They fight and Greg takes off Alec's mask. After that, he beats him into an unconscious state, and then Greg makes himself look like a victim. Then when he looks back at the floor, he notices that Alec is not there. He stands elsewhere, pointing a gun at Greg. Then he tells him that he knows who he is. But Greg tries turning the story around on Alec and making him look like the kidnapper. Shortly after, he starts pleading for his life and attempts to tell a story about himself. 
but Alec does not allow him to get anywhere with it and shoots him. Afterward, Spitsky arrives and shoots Alec. When he comes to the boy, Alec states Spitsky's name. In the following scene, the police arrive at the trailer and rescue the two boys. Spitsky investigates Greg's vehicle and finds all the evidence he needs there. Then Jackie comes home with Connor and they see the police activity surrounding their house. While Alec lies on a gurney, he remembers himself as a little boy. He and Tommy walk along the train tracks and encounter Greg. After that memory, and with the knowledge that he got his revenge, Alec gets placed inside an ambulance. 